Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I would like to talk to you about some photography tips I have for you. In preparation for tomorrow's fire session, I'm organizing a 15 minute headshot session. So basically whoever is going to show up will get like a 15 minute shoot. Well, not just shooting, clicking on the button or whatever, it's guiding the person to get the best image and talking to them as well so it's 15 minutes talking to the person and they get like a headshot they can if they like the images and they can obviously get more but ideally we are shooting this to get your one like at least one great headshot for your for yourself to represent your personal branding anything like that so i wanted to give you a few tips for the session tomorrow if you're gonna if you're planning to come or tips in general how to get a great headshot for yourself and obviously if you're coming tomorrow you're picking me as your photographer but if you don't know who's your who your photographer is going to be have a look at people's portfolios and see what you like the style you like if you like studio work or like more cinematic headshots like I do and see if you like their work and if you do obviously proceed by <laughs> booking the person if it's in your budget or whatever if you but most importantly if you like the person and their work um, I would say go with, go with whoever you like and feel comfortable with because that usually makes the session easier for both the photographer and the person being photographed so now that we've sorted this with whoever the, who, whichever whoever is going to photograph you uh, I have a few tips on how to get the best headshot and that is it starts with the expression leaving the physical side the physical part aside it starts with an expression so how do you want to look in look in your headshot ideally I think you'd want my in my opinion how I would like to look is I would like to look confident and approachable you don't want to look too approachable, maybe, because <laughs> that might, depending on what you're doing, if you're an actor or you're a business person, you may want to keep the approachability to, to a certain level. So maybe not human, like massive smiles, but you want to look approachable, so maybe like tiny smiles. And you want to look confident, obviously. Um, you don't want to look scared in the photograph or anything like that which most people do if they go in front of the camera they instantly like are scared of the camera for some reason i know i do it especially if i don't know who's taking a picture of me and i don't know what they're doing with the camera how good they are and i'm usually like skeptical <laughs> but yeah usually that's what i would recommend to anyone who's building a business or like Building, to building their personal branding to look to have at least one sh shot of themselves in which they look comfortable yet approachable and that usually comes from the eyes <laughs> now this is more to do with the photographer because the photographer has to guide you so in this case I will have to guide you to get that expression but keep in mind you after you've picked the photographer ideally you like that person and you will place your trust in them and follow them follow their advice and their guidance their coaching because they're only trying to get the best in you in pro for your images and for you so ideally you want to create uh, there, there should be some chemistry created between you and the photographer so you get the best images now on the physical side of things I want you to feel comfortable however you are and how to present yourself to the session is obviously have your hair nicely look you know have it freshly washed you know at least it doesn't look like you know whatever it looks nice you look comfortable with it uh, keep your makeup to minimum especially if you're coming you're going to get a headshot like if you're an actor and you want to use it for your portfolio keep the makeup to a minimum because like, keep it as natural as possible because usually casting directors when they look at images they want to see you as a black canvas and they want to imagine you in the role they have in mind for for whoever they're looking to cast for like whatever role they're looking to cast 
and whatever the actor they're hoping to find. So keep the makeup to a minimum, <laughs> unless, uh, like for tomorrow, if you're coming to have the headshot done, you can obviously have a bit more heavy makeup if that's what you want. If it's not like for an actor, it's just like your personal image, and you just want to have some jewelry. You want to have a little bit more, I don't know, eyelashes. Ladies nowadays like to have like eyelashes uh, put on. But yeah, keep it natural, keep it, you don't want to look like you're having a ton of makeup on you because it just doesn't look like yourself and you want people to recognize in the photograph and when you're walking into a meeting or in a casting, um, into a casting audition, you know, you don't want the person who's looking at the picture and then when they see you they're going to be like, oh, who's this person, I do not recognize them. And yeah, keep the makeup to a minimum. Jewelry, again, if it's for an actor, maybe don't have earrings, like at least not long ones. If they're small, they're okay, but usually, yeah. As I said, our casting directors want to see your image, it's a, see you as a blank camera, so they can put you in whatever clothes, whatever, you know, uh, stuff, or whatever kind of jewelry to imagine you in the role. So they don't want to, have a different perception. If you're already wearing crazy makeup and stuff like that, they're not going to be able to imagine you as easily in a certain role. So, what else? In, in general, keep like the clothes you're wearing. Make sure you like them. Make sure you feel comfortable in them. Again, com being comfortable for your session is essential. If you're not comfortable, with a photographer, with whatever you're wearing, the session's gonna be difficult. You know, it's gonna be a bit, you know. So you wanna make it as easy on you and on the photographer. So please, with clothes, avoid logos. Keep in mind that this is not about a clothing company, a designer or whatever. It's about you, your expression, presenting yourself the best at that given time. And yeah, you wanna make it about yourself. This is not egoistic, it's, it's just purely you want to represent yourself and you want the person who's looking at the, your picture, either online or on print, whatever, you want them to look at you, look in your eyes and judge you by what they see, not the clothes that you wear and, you know, judge you on your expression because, let's be honest, they will judge when People nowadays look at images online all the time, so they're making judgments on just like purely images and afterwards meeting the person. So there's nothing wrong. I'm just saying that you should make sure you're avoiding like lines, like stripes, and crazy logos on like crazy writing or designs on your clothes or anything. I mean, obviously, for headshots, it's just gonna be like. It's like mainly this this part, mainly your head, but because we're focusing on expression. But yeah, keep in mind, logos are not welcome <laughs> in headshots because this is about you. It's about your expression and your personal branding, and not some company designing clothes or whatever. Um, I think. This is it for now. I'll probably do a follow-up video with other tips, but just like the basic things that you have to keep in mind. Also, you may want to check some magazines with pictures of actors that you like and look at, have a look at their expression, how they, how they photograph and how they move their eyes, their, um, their eyes, their eyebrows, the mouth, because these are the main things, well, the three things that move on the face and create expression. So you want to have a look at that, how your favorite actors look in photographs and practice in front of the mirror before the session. Have a look at yourself in the mirror, how you look, which side is your best side, so, you know, if you have a preference, a lot of photographers should find that themselves and during the session in this case me I'll have a look <laughs> so yeah this is just the basic stuff no logos no crazy jewelry unless you're a jewelry designer and you want to showcase your work um, 
yeah, elegant clothes, but you can also have like more just comfortable, comfortable and not that elegant clothes can be comfortable, but you know what I mean, like more sports necessarily, you know, um, t-shirts or stuff like that. As long as you don't have logos on them, that should be fine. And yeah, just have fun. We just come, you know, have, have your mind, you have a great session and that should be fine. If the photographer is good and you place your trust in them for the given time you're in front of their camera, everything should be fine. You shouldn't worry and you should get some great headshots to, to have in your portfolio. So next time you're going for an audition or you're putting it for you on your website, people will be like very pleased to see your face. <laughs> So yeah, have a look at my my headshot as well. It was shot with natural light, window, beautiful window light. I love window light, it's so, so nice on the face. And yeah, if you're coming for the session tomorrow, you probably had a look at my portfolio and you know that I mostly do cinematic headshots, which mean that I photograph people, as you can see in the image here, it's like outside, uh, so it's quite natural. I'd, I prefer this kind of stuff um, because it makes me imagine the person as if they're in a movie. If it's just a person's face and a blurry background, um, it just makes me feel like that person's in a movie, especially for actors. If, if you're an actor uh, or now, yeah, you just want to it's just nice to imagine yourself in a movie or in a setting you know on a set and i think cinematic headshots do that with i like studio shots as well but it depends i usually like black background it's just i, I like to bring a bit more definition and yeah usually with cinematic headshots you have that blurry background if the photographer is using a prime lens not to low f-stop which i normally do i use prime lenses for my uh and in general for my photography i like the look it just it just it's more cinematic i, I prefer it and I, i've had many people telling me like they love this look uh, because it looks natural yet it's very cinematic i keep reading my this word but this is what it is and yeah if this is the look you like i would love to work with you um so yeah, as I said, I, I like that look because it just, it looks natural and it just, it puts the person into a setting, yet it doesn't distract too much because, because if the blurry, if the background is so blurry, you focus on the person, like the viewer focuses on the person. So yeah, have a look at my website, see what kind of stuff I do. And as I said, I would love to work with you. And yeah, hopefully for tomorrow's session we should have great fun. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Uh, thank you for checking, checking out this video. And yeah, please like, subscribe to my channel or whatever if you, if you like this sort of thing. I, I will help my channel. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this. Have a lovely afternoon here in Canterbury. It's a beautiful day today and very nice, nice weather. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a lovely afternoon, love, lovely night, but who knows when you're watching, where you're watching from. So yeah, take care of yourselves as always and see you next time. Bye.